So you've made the first step towards the next big event of your wedding journey and booked in your engagement shoot. And you think you've got it all covered, but have you thought of these eight big mistakes that every couple makes? some of which I've made myself. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through all of them and why they're so important so that you can have the most incredible, not to mention effortless engagement shoot. I've made mistakes so that you don't have to. Welcome back, my loves, to The Curated Wedding. I'm Nasli, I run Offly Place, an award-winning wedding venue where we have hosted hundreds of beautiful wedding days. I've also recently gotten married myself, so I'll be unveiling all my insider secrets and top tips from both sides of the aisle so that we can discuss the art of a curated wedding. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of my weekly wedding tips so that you do not miss a thing. Now, your engagement photo shoot is a really exciting occasion, but with it usually being the first time you're doing anything like this, it's easy to miss or forget things that you might regret when you look back. Some of these mistakes that I made with my own engagement photo shoot and that I've definitely learned from and I wish I'd have thought of earlier. So that's why I'm sharing these with you today to make sure that you truly have it all covered. So let's get into it. Number one is your inspiration board. If you've watched any of my previous videos on how to plan the perfect engagement shoot, then you'll know that one of my first tips is to create an inspiration board, to create a Pinterest board for yourself where you can pin couple images that you love, whether it's the poses or the backgrounds that you're really drawn towards, and make note of this and then share your inspiration board with your photographer too, so that they can have an idea of what you're thinking of. So by this point, you'll have made your inspiration board and talked it through with your photographer. So you think it's all covered, but what I want to tell you is that on the day of the shoot, there might be a lot going on with your photographer looking to get the best shots of you both and potentially it being your first time posing as a couple in front of the camera, that even between you, you might forget shots and poses that you really, really wanted to capture. Now, my advice to you is to make sure that you can access your inspiration board on your phone. If it's a Pinterest board, the simplest way will be to download the Pinterest app so you can really easily pop it open and have a flick through. Now, if you're worried about not having any signal or data at your location, or maybe you have your inspiration board on a completely different sort of app, then just screenshot it or save it as images on your phone. You'll be so glad you did when your photographer turns around and asks you if there's any other photos you want to take and you can quickly have a flick through on your phone, show them what you're thinking of and leave the shoot getting everything ticked off your list. Number two is an emergency kit. When it comes to preparing for your engagement shoot, it's essential to consider all possibilities and plan for the unexpected. And while we certainly hope that everything goes smoothly, it's always a good idea to have a backup plan in place. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but that's where having a mini emergency kit can truly save the day. Picture this, you're out on location, capturing those precious moments with your partner when suddenly a minor mishap occurs. Maybe you get a small cut, have a sudden headache, or realize you need a quick touch up. Having a well-stocked emergency kit on hand is going to be your lifesaver. It might sound a little over the top, but you want to look your best. And when you know that something on you just isn't quite right, you tend to stiffen up in photos and look uncomfortable. And we definitely don't want that. So what should you include in your emergency kit? Let's break it down. So start with a small bag that you can easily carry around with you, then gather a few essentials, perhaps plasters for cuts and blisters, painkiller tablets for unexpected headaches or aches, allergy medication, very important for any unexpected reactions, perhaps you're outside, fashion tape for any wardrobe malfunctions, safety pins for any clothing mishaps, earring bags to avoid any lost earrings, tissues for unexpected tears, and my favorite of all, stain removers for accidental spills and marks. But don't just stop there. Feel free to add any other personal items that you think might come in handy during your shoot. Whether it's your favorite lip balm, a compact mirror, or a portable phone charger, having those extra comforts can make 
all the difference. And here is the best part. Once you've assembled your emergency kit, it is not just for your engagement shoes. This handy tool will be your go-to companion throughout the entire wedding planning process, including the big day itself. So by taking the time to prepare now, you'll be setting yourself up for success down the line. To make things even easier for you, I've created a comprehensive emergency kit list on our ultimate engagement shoot checklist that you can download for free on the link below. It covers everything that you need to ensure that you're fully prepared for any situation that may arise during your engagement shoot and beyond. So don't leave anything to chance. Take the proactive step of creating your mini emergency kit today and enjoy peace of mind knowing that you're ready for whatever comes your way. Number three is to empty your pockets. This might seem like a random one, but it's one of those small details that will make all the difference. Before you start your photos, either before you leave or wherever you're getting ready, or when, you're, when you arrive to the location that you're having your photos and you're looking for somewhere to put down your bags, take a moment and empty anything you have in your pockets. And if you're wondering why I'm including such a random tip, well, the short answer is experience. My husband did not do this before our engagement photo shoot. And in some of the photos, you can really see his phone in his pocket. It is a small detail, yes, but it's an annoying one. And that's why I'm t including a little reminder for you to take everything out. Leave anything that you don't need behind and put anything that you do need to bring with you into your bag that you can take and leave somewhere secure or at the side out of the shot and especially out of your pocket. You'll thank me later. Number four is to be careful of marks. Now in a similar light, this is when I'd also like you to take a moment as early as possible on the day of the shoot itself and take off anything that's gonna leave a mark on your body that you don't want to have in the engagement shoot. If you have a watch on, for example, and you're not looking to wear it for your engagement photo shoot, make sure to take it off as soon as you can to avoid the possibility of it leaving any sort of mask on your wrist. Exactly the same with any hair ties or scrunchies you may keep around your wrist or socks if you're wearing more dressy shoes. They are another big, big culprit. Where I went wrong with my engagement shoot and another big culprit is that we walked there in the sunshine, which was absolutely fine. We got ready really close by, but I put on sunglasses over my freshly done makeup in the sun, which meant that by the time we arrived at the location, I had a sunglasses mark on my nose. And of course, the biggest shocker, I hadn't brought an emergency kit or anything I could touch up with, not even a mirror, so I could see exactly what was going on. So the start of my engagement shoot involved the selfie side of my phone camera and a lot of smudging and just hoping for the best. Thankfully, it was all fine, but just take this as a little warning to pay attention and spare yourselves because it's just not worth starting your shoot like that or looking back at the images after and thinking, why didn't I notice? So when I tell you that these are mistakes that I made myself and that I really want to spare you from, I hope you truly believe me. Number five is a lint roller. This may again seem like a bit of a random one, but not for me because I love a lint roller. I have so many at home, a box of mini ones in the office, and I always travel with one too. I just hate the idea of any kind of lint or fluff on my clothes and just looking a little messy, especially on your engagement shoot day. With so much going on, it's easy to overlook this modest little tool, but it can make a world of difference in your photos and how you feel. Picture perfect shots can quickly be spoilt with lint or pet hair on your clothing. This is especially good if you're planning on bringing your pets to your engagement shoot with you. So really good tip for that situation. But with a lint roller, you can quickly touch up, remove any debris and ensure that you and your partner look polished in every shot. It is a simple addition to your bag, but it's often overlooked and it can really elevate the quality of your photos. So don't underestimate the power of the humble limb roller. Number six is water and snacks. Your engagement shoot will usually last an hour or two, but there may be times where for whatever reason, it goes on a little longer than you expect and hunger may strike. This is why it's a great idea just to slip in a few snacks and some water into your bag to take with you on the day. 
especially if you're taking photos outdoors in the sun like we were, having a bottle of water with you is gonna be crucial to avoid dehydration, which can quickly leave you feeling drained and lethargic. Staying hydrated will definitely keep your energy up during the shoot so that you feel your best in front of the camera. While it may sound a little silly or excessive, having some light refreshments can make all the difference during a shoot. You may not end up needing it, but we want to keep you hydrated and energized for as long as we can so that you end up feeling and looking your best in all your photos. We want to keep your spirits up and high spirits lead to gorgeous photos. So before you head out for your shoot, don't don't forget to throw in some water and snacks. Your future self will thank you for it. Number seven, shoulders down and stand up straight. You may have gotten yourself bogged down with all these different ways to pose and how to look in your engagement photo shoot. And while I don't think that's at all bad by any means to give you an idea and make you feel comfortable in seeing examples of other couples, please don't let it stress you out on the day. The most important element that will have the biggest impact on your photos is simply to have good posture. Simply having your shoulders down and relaxed and standing up straight. Just those two things will make a world of difference. We are a generation of stressed out people who work from our computers, which means that, let's be honest, most of us do not have the best posture. So this is the time to start focusing on correcting it. You'll immediately look and feel a lot more relaxed and confident. Bonus points if you can carry this on into your day-to-day -day life, but we're just focusing on the engagement shoot at the moment. So speak to your partner and let them know so that you can remind each other if you forget and really look and feel your best on the day. And number eight is to communicate with your photographer. Communicating with your photographer on the day is so, so important in making sure that you can bring your engagement shoot vision to life. It's a detail that often gets forgotten as you might be feeling excited or even a little bit anxious, but it's so vital. Your photographer will usually bring the energy to the shoot and just make you feel comfortable. Just know that they're there for you and they're on your side. Actively communicating with them throughout will make all the difference. If you're not feeling comfortable with something or you have any suggestions or ideas, I promise they'll be open to it and they'll probably enjoy the collaboration too. It'll give your photographer more of a chance to get to know you and to understand your unique style and personalities. And that's only gonna result in photos that really reflect your love story. So it's so big. So don't hesitate to let your photographer know if you've got any concerns or discomforts or if you need a bit of a break, they'll be more than happy to help. So if you're really confident to express yourself, it'll make all the difference and make sure that you not only end up with gorgeous photos that you'll want to keep forever, but also that you'll really enjoy the experience of the day as well. Now that concludes my list of things that everyone forgets when it comes to their engagement shoot and that I wish I'd known before mine because it just would have made it all a little simpler and just given me more peace of mind. If there's anything you think that I've forgotten, let me know in the comments down below. We can help each other to make sure that we've all got it covered. And give this video a like if it was helpful, it would mean so much to me. In the meantime, you can catch me over on Instagram at thedocurated.wedding, where I'm always posting fresh inspiration, tips, motivation, so you won't want to miss it. And I'll be back with another video next week. See you next time and happy planning.